let's take a look at the second key to, to, to easy pool care. The second key to, to good pool care is filtration. Filtration is important. As in circulation, it's part of, of that synergy. We're taking water from the pool, bringing it up into the pump, putting it through the filter to filter out particles and dirt and sometimes even algae and bacteria and return it back to the pool clean. Basically there are three kinds of filters. There's, there are sand filters. This is probably the most popular filter that is out on the market. Sand filters do, do a great job for the bulk of consumers out there. They filter a particle that in size from about 25 to 40 microns. So you're, you are able to filter out dirt, decent sized particles, and, and end up with good clean water. The easy thing about a sand filter is that it's simple to clean. There's a backwash valve typically up on top with other controls available. The second kind of filter, and growing in popularity, is the cartridge type of filter. Inside of this filter are, are, are cartridges that have pleated material on them, and those work to, to pull out any particulate that is being filtered out. A cartridge filter will filter down to roughly between 10 and 20 microns in size, so you can get finer filtration up to about four times as compared to a sand filter. The last type of filter is diatomaceous earth filter. Diatomaceous earth filters, or DE filters, are the f give you the finest filtration. They will filter down to about 2 to 5 microns in size. At the 2 to 5 micron size, you are actually able to filter out large bacteria, algae, along with dirt, debris, and so on. So you get truly, really fine, polished water out of it. It's a little bit more to, to take care of, but those folks who do own them love them, and uh, it's a great filter. Inside of a DE filter, you have either grids, or in this case, fingers, and the fingers hold are called a septum, and they hold diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is, a, is basically fossilized algae, that works to pull out fine stuff. The only problem with DE itself is that it's not biodegradable and it's not eco-friendly. Newer products such as Pure Fiber are. What we like about Pure Fiber is that aside from being biodegradable and much more uh, eco-friendly, it also makes cleaning the filter much, much simpler. When you clean a filter, especially with a, a diatomaceous earth or a cartridge filter, you, you, you partially dissemble the filter, use a filter cleaner, such as spray on uh, BioGuard Cleanup, spray it on, let it, let it soak in there for about a half an hour or so, an hour. The longer you can get it, let it soak, the better. Hose it down, reassemble it, and you're good, you're good to go. There are other new eco-friendly um, cleaners that are, that are available. Any of them, and most of them, work, work very well. One, one caution that I would give you is do not use muriatic acid or sulfuric acid to clean your filter. It's just a bad idea. Number one, it's not eco-friendly. Number two, it's a harsh chemical and it's a dangerous chemical. And number three, Using, using acid to actually clean the filter will in, instead set greases and oils into the filter material, especially with a diatomaceous earth or a cartridge filter. So use a proper filter cleaner. Take care of your filter. It'll take care of you. One important thing, make sure that you, that you do chemically clean it about every six weeks or so during the season. And at the end of the season, when you go to close it up, and those of us who are in, the, uh, in these colder climates, the other thing is make sure that you run the filter 8 to 12 hours per day, every day, from the day you open up the pool to the day you close the pool. You'll just get, you'll, you will keep your pool better, it'll stay cleaner, and you'll be happier with less work. A good, uh, good thing to keep in mind, one thing that I've been doing for the past couple of years, which is save money, 
is I run my pool for four hours and then it's off for four hours. And I do that over the course of the day so I get three, three times being on at four hours and three times being off at four hours. Why four hours? Well, once the filter shuts down, the water stays in motion for almost four hours. In that time, the water does not become stagnant and it continues moving. What I really like about it is the four hours, the two four hour sessions when it is on are during off peak hours. So right, right away, I'm saving a substantial amount of money in electricity. That's filtration. For more information, you can go to parpools.com slash pool care.